Um, hello, my name is Sophia Florin Pollard, and I've been going to Malibu Pacific for now five months. It's so easy for us to be so open when we are happy and when we're doing well, um, but it takes a certain strength that I didn't know that I had to be able to sit down and say, no, um, I was very, very unhappy. I didn't take responsibility for any of my actions. I had a horrible relationship with my own self. I had a lot of self-hatred, a lot of self-doubt. I had a horrible relationship with my parents and life was very superficial and it's an empty um, way of living about five months ago. Enough was enough and I dropped to my knees. I remember I was outside. And I looked up at the sky and I've never ever looked up at the sky before and tears were streaming down my face. And I'm like, I am done. I am done. I, I don't know who I'm looking up to right now, but I'm looking up in the sky right now and I'm gonna take that as a sign. I wanna surrender. And that was coming from me. Um, and I was like, I can't believe that word just escaped my mouth just now. I want to surrender. It's one thing when someone else tells you to surrender and to change, but when you yourself come to a point where you're like, enough is enough, I need to surrender. I never ever showed interest in wanting to be a child of God. I actually always kind of laughed about it. I thought it was um, a bit dumb. A child of God. When you say that out loud, I, w I thought I could only be a child to my own blood mother and father, but this was different. So I started to write and journal to God every single morning because um, it's a new relationship. I needed to um, form a relationship to start writing to him every single day. And then I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to take it a step further. I think I want to go to church. Um, and I was nervous to go alone. And um, I'm really grateful because one of my really good friends from high school, his name is Frankie Churchill. And having someone else my age say, hey, come, come with me, I know of a church. I was so excited. I was so excited. I was like, wow. I was like, yeah, I'll come. That, that sounds amazing. I thought uh, falling in love only comes into place with between a man and a woman. Um, but I fell in love with the community and I found community for the first time. I've never felt love in a room with so many people that I didn't know. I thought church was just um, a group of people who had their life so together that everyone was perfect, but it was so comforting to know that everyone in this room has a story and has gone through something. And we're all here and we're all here together and we're gonna go through it together. My life now is completely changed. Um, every day feels like a blessing. Every day feels like a blank canvas and I have self-love. I don't doubt myself. I don't care as much what people think of me. I am on this journey to become closer to God and um, become the best version of myself and become the vibrant, um, beautiful woman that I want to become. And I really feel like Jesus and God has really healed me. And I want to get baptized because I fully want to surrender. And it, this is such a beautiful, long journey. Um, and I want to get closer to God as, as much as I can.